Okay, today at Midwest Gym Supply, we're a premier dealer for AAI gymnastics equipment. We're going to show how to take the leg off of a elite reflex adjustable beam. First thing we will do is we will grab the wrenches uh, that were used. These are 9 sixteenths. And we'll first take off, almost did the wrong one. We're first going to take off the bolt that's in the center of the beam here, holds the, the center leg to the bottom of the beam. Let me do this. Um, this is a, a, nine, a 3 8 size bolt. It's the shorter of the two bolts that's used in the front mounting block. Once we've taken the bolt out, the beam leg still will not come off of the, the bottom of the beam because there is a spring pin that holds it to the bottom of the beam still. So now we're going to take that out. To do that, we use a hammer and some type of a punch. I have three different types that are in common use for doing this. There is just a half inch size bolt that is cut off, so it has a long half inch shaft on it. This is a setting tool that is used in certain concrete anchors. And this is another uh, uh, longer uh, bolt that has a half inch shaft on it. Anything with a half inch diameter shaft can be used to drive out the spring pin. And that takes out this spring pin in the center of the hole that holds the, the leg to the base. Now I'm going to make sure and bump this so that I can set it safely on the floor so that it won't fall. All right, Josh, there we go. Will it go? It won't go all the way, will it? That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, why don't you hold it then? All right. Now we'll repeat the procedure in the, uh, the back bolt that holds the shorter uh, brace leg that's on the back of the beam leg. First, we take out the bolt. The bolt slides out and we can set it down. Now we'll drive out the spring pin that holds this, still this back leg in, uh, connecting the beam leg to the beam body. This is where it's a little different because the spring pin on this back side, it is longer and it has a blunt end and it has a beveled end. The short spring pin that goes in the front mounting uh, block has a bevel on both ends of the uh, spring pin. So it doesn't matter which side that you drive out. But this back one has a blunt end is what we're looking for to drive out the uh, spring pin. And that's on this side. Once that's removed, then the leg can be removed from the end of the beam.